Hello, artists. Today we are going to paint our leaf. But first, we need to take it out of the book. And we're gonna cut it out. So I'm just going to, and if you need help, I'll help you with this. I'm gonna hold down this side and pull from this side at an angle. See how I'm pulling it at a diagonal line? I'm gonna pull it right out. Take your time and pull it right out. Like I said, if you need help, I can help you with this. Then I can put my book away for later. Now I'm going to cut out my leaf. Now remember, scissor safety. Scissors always stay away from you. They never point towards you. And my thumb is always up. So my big thumb goes in the little hole and two fingers go in the small hole. Practice opening and closing. Opening and closing. We always wanna use the sharp part of the scissor, not the little itsy bitsy top. So I'm gonna start by cutting on the black line. So I'm gonna cut and turn the paper as I cut. And I'm gonna cut out my leaf. See how I'm never moving. I'm guys, I'm never moving my hand. Only the paper. to throw these out, but you can keep them on your table for now until it's ready to throw out. All right, now I have my leaf. I would like you to please put your name on the back. I'm Mizu. And also please put your class code, okay? You need your class code on the back as well, because we're going to be hanging this up on our school tree that Mizzy's going to make for us. So if you're at home and you would like to add your leaf to our tree, because I will be taking a picture of it, you can send it to the front office or bring it in, and I will be glad to hang it up on the tree, but you have to make sure that your name and class code is on it, okay? So I know where it belongs to. So guys, now we are going to be painting our leaf. Now remember, we went over warm colors, and let's go over it again. Warm colors are the beginning of the rainbow. They are warm like the sun, or warm like fire. Red, yellow, and orange, okay? Not these guys. We're only using the lighter colors, because those are fall colors. I'm gonna paint over top of each section. In each section, I'm gonna make a different color. So when I'm done with one area, I wipe off my paintbrush, and I move on to the next. sure that I'm painting in the lines and I'm looking for all of my white space. I want to color in, I want to paint in all of that white space. Remember this is going to be hung up for the whole school to see. And I'm sure that you want to make sure you do your best, right? Because it's going to be hung up. When you walk by it every day, you can say, wow, I did such a good job on my leaf. And oh my gosh, I love all the words that I put. They mean so much to me. I 
I even accidentally mixed some orange and some yeah, uh, red together. It made an orange red color and it actually looks really cool with that green. It really does look really cool with that green. All right, I don't want to go over my yellow. Over, I don't want to go over red over red, so I'm doing yellow. leaf is complete it's so beautiful I'm gonna put it on the drying rack so that it dries if you want to make a second leaf or if you already made a second leaf you can go ahead and do a second leaf and then you can have two leaves on our gratitude tree I cannot wait to see what your leaves look like when they're done if you do not have paint, that's okay. You create your artwork with what you have at home. 